Welcome to my low level Iron Man construction guide. Now, in this video, the idea of it is to help low level Iron Man get to a fairly decent construction level. The main idea is to get to at least 50. Now, the specific reason I say 50 construction is because that is when you unlock the Demon Butler. Now, on my Iron Man myself, I haven't actually got all the way to 50, but I will show you the way to do it. Um, the reason I haven't got to 50 is because I haven't actually bothered doing the construction yet, but I'll show you how you make planks best way of gathering and the probably the one of the most efficient ways of actually making the planks yourself because some people might wonder this now first of all we're going to talk about you know how would you start now like i said the main idea of this is just for the first 50 levels after that there's many ways you can go about it but you can still pretty much do the same thing there's other ways you can do it but that's your choice if you do them but to start with you're going to be at a make not much in your house you're gonna to have to stick with simple stuff nothing oak just plain wooden uh, furniture now i'm not going to say exactly what you need to make this is mainly how to get the stuff for an iron man because there's loads of construction guides out there it's not a one to nine, 99 you still make the same things as those you just need to be able to gather the materials yourself now to start off with you're going to need planks you're probably going to need nails of some sort where well, you are going to need nails now nails are easy to get you can just go get some iron ores or whatever turn them into bars and then make them into nails that bit's really really easy but to get the planks it can take a bit longer now you can either go cut down your own trees and then plank make them you'll see how i do the plank making efficiently or you can do what this guy right here conveniently is doing for us right now there's four plank spawns here we are at the barbarian outpost i will show you on the map if you don't know so this is around the center of the map now top oh i didn't mean to do that now top left of the map by barbarian assault Barbarian Assault, just outside of it, just along the edge here, four plank spawn. Now, they have a fairly long respawn time. If you hop around about 10 different worlds, by the time you get back to the first one, they'll have all respawned. So you can pick up inventories of planks fairly quick here. There's a bank right here, so you can go straight to the bank after, which makes it very easy to bank them. So you can get yourself a fair amount of planks very, very fast. But once you get to the point where you can start making oak um bookcases oak larders obviously you're going to want to move on to them now this requ will require a uh, will require a bit of gold because you're going to need to make them into planks but to get the oak logs in the first place that bit's the easy bit I'm sure most of you already know but you need 15 wood cutting to be able to get oak trees now currently myself i have about six, uh, 5k i think uh oak logs banked because i plan to go to 66 wood uh construction with uh oak larders but that's that's nothing to do with it but it's very easy to bank them i will tell you now i normally do it in barrack it's right next to a bank there's a couple of oak trees and i'll just do it there there's loads of places you can do it just find a spot you're comfortable with and just bang out loads and loads of oak logs but now it comes to doing the actually plank making now there's loads of different ways you can go about it but there's a few ways i'm going to say and i'm going to say which i think are probably the best now we're going to start from worst to best um probably the worst way of going about it is in varrock on the east bank this is where you'll be banking so if we go to varrick real quick here's the east bank this is the bank you'll be using and the lumber yard is here just up here now you would come here you would have you'd bring your money with you you have to bring money because it costs to turn planks into um no logs into planks depending on what log you're using depending on the price you come here you bring money and all your logs and you would run outside here you'd come up here and then you go to the lumber yard and you turn them into planks. Then you can either teleport to Varrock, which I wouldn't suggest because you have to have more inventory space for teleports. Would be runes if you're a little level iron man, you probably won't have tablets, especially considering you're doing a construction grind, you know, you're not gonna have tablets at that time. But you'd have to run back, come to the bank, rebank and go out. You probably use energy pots. It's just not efficient for an iron man. It's not even efficient for a main. Now, another way of doing it is if we go to, uh, you call Zaya, call Zaya, but I don't know what it is on the map. We go to Zaya, over here somewhere. Guren, that's the one. If you have access to the woodcutting guild, you can make use of it. Now the woodcutting guild, I believe it's 60 woodcutting you need and 75% uh, Sidious house favor. Now if you have this, it is a better method than the previous. You have a bank just here and a mill here. It is just simple. You'll come from here, you'll go up to the sawmill, use planks, come back, rinse and repeat. You'd, it'd be better if you used energy pots and whatnot. But you don't have to because the walk is nowhere near as long as the varic one now on a main you can actually do it slightly faster because you can use skills necklaces to go uh, teleport to there and you run there and i believe it's a quicker walk but 
Honestly, if you're on a main, you can just buy planks. So we'll ignore that. But the last method I'm going to show you is by far the best method. Now, this will require you to complete one specific quest. Uh, that quest is in line to journey. And if you guys haven't already done it, you need 20 quest points, 20 fire making, 30 farming, and 36 crafting to complete the quest. There's also a few items you need. Nothing that's really hard to get, to be honest. Uh, some of you might think, well, I can't do it because I need uh, a willow seed and stuff like that. If you haven't got willow seed, you don't actually need it because you've given it in the quest. But you need willow branches. It will be better if you have your own willow seeds because you can uh, get the branches faster. But you will have to grow a tree and plant it and wait for five hours. It can take a while um, to complete this quest. But if you start it now, like I said, in about five hours time, you will be fine. You'll be able to get the willow branches. But once you've completed this quest, you gain access to the balloon transportation. Now, conveniently, there is one right out of sight, right outside of Castle Wars. Now, of course, there is a Castle Wars teleport on the Ring of Jorlin. So if you've got plenty of Ring of Jorlins, which are easy to get on an Iron Man, this is the method for you. You would start in the Castle Wars. You would come outside here. Now, I haven't unlocked this just yet because I haven't got around to actually starting the grind yet, but this is how it works. This guy here, you would unlock the flight path to Varrock. Now it's not actually in Varric, it's right outside the Lumberyard Mill, which is really, really not uh, nice. The teleport is here. This is where it will take you to, right next to the mill. So you would get a, an inventory of your logs and your money, and I believe you need one willow yog, a uh, willow yog, willow log per run to get to the Lumberyard. So your inventory would be coins, twenty-six oak logs, and one willow log. Come here, you take the flight path, and it will take you right outside the mill. Once you've made your planks, you would teleport back to Castle Wars. And then rinse and repeat. Now, what's so nice about this is you can make, I believe, up to 1k logs per hour if you're really efficient. I believe I read that somewhere. Like I said, I haven't actually got around to doing this myself in this account, so I can't remember the exact numbers, but I have actually done it previously before just to test on my main account, and it is very, very nice to do. Now, this will get you to 50 plus construction very, very fast. The first levels are very slow, but once you get to oak logs, if you've got the money to make all the planks, Get the planks bashed out and then once you get to construction you will be good to go it'll feel really nice to power through the levels other than that there's not really many of the tips i can give for this other than the fact that i do advise making a bit of money if you haven't because you do need money for construction because you need to turn them into planks now i would highly advise banking loads of oak logs to get yourself to 66 because once you're to 66 you do or you can do teak logs now if you've been doing an iron man fairly efficiently you have your kingdom underway you can get teak logs from there which is great and from 66 to 83 which is the lowest you need for a uh, ornate pool which i'm sure a lot of people will want uh, i believe it's 24k teak logs which isn't actually that bad because you can get a fair chunk from a uh, kingdom at a time i have about 6k in my bank and i've barely been doing any kingdom for teak logs i think i've done two runs of teak logs and i've got 6k in the bank which is great if you've got the money to do your kingdom continuously i highly suggest it because it will really help that's pretty much it for the video guys i hope you guys have learned something from this if you have smash the like button drop a comment down below let me know if there's any other kind of guides you want on an iron man and i'll try my best to see if i can create one and last but not least if you guys want to see more don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out